So I recently had this experience that I was intuitively led and guided to all to find out that it was absolutely not as I was anticipating or expecting and really experiencing this break in in not only trust of another, but trust of myself because I was like, I'm so confused. I was led and guided to this. And here in, in today's channeled message, we are seeing that trust is a really... It, it fuels everything. It fuels our life. It fuels our decisions. It fuels who we are and becoming and all of our relationships and our relationships are the building blocks for so much of our life. And I'm starting to see now in this situation, the divine redirection and all of that, but it takes, it takes a bit of surrendering into this to really be able to see it from this perspective. Um, that we can still trust ourselves and that we can trust God source the universe even when we think we're led and guided to something and it turns out completely different than we expect and think. So today's channel message is not only for me but um, I think just a really important lesson on trust. How do we really learn this and understand this deeply in the body? Um, because just as you guys, I am on this path with you, I am learning and, and always a student. And so with that, I just invite you to take these few moments for yourself, taking a deep breath in wherever you are, settling into the body. And with that, let us dive in. Trust. What an interesting concept. One that is unique to this dimension in space-time. Trust poses interesting experiences in the human experience. For if you zoom out, you will see that many of the decisions that you make include trust. Trusting of yourself to make the decision. Trusting of who you're making the decision with. Trusting that a certain outcome or situation will be possible or available. Trusting that what you are doing is getting you to where you desire. Trusting that you structure, trusting that your structure and things in your life are supporting you. Trusting that the food you eat, water you drink, air you breathe. Trusting what loved ones say, trusting what people in power or status. And yet the opportunity is to redefine and rekindle your relationship with trust. Who and what you give your trust to is the greatest honor. For to trust someone or something or some act, some structure, is to place yourself in some energetic capacity with that thing or person. The interesting part of your human experience, however, is that the breaking of trust, a mistrust, or a deception, or a or a failing or a feeling of insecurity is inevitable. It is woven into your human experience. However, we are inviting you into a new perspective on the breaking of trust and insincerity that you will inevitably experience along your journey. Perhaps there is a pattern in the body that is asking to be released or a redirection that your soul is guiding you towards. This is when these situations of mistrust may occur. Thinking that you could trust yourself or feeling mistrusted or seeing what you trusted could not be trusted after all. Perhaps this isn't always a bad thing. Oftentimes as humans, making changes when things are good or okay is one of the most difficult things to do, for it can be easy to settle for things to be good. But the soul knows and desires greatness for you. And thus, to experience the mistrust of another or within oneself causes an uprooting of beliefs and a rapid shift in energy. For many of you who are in tune and tuned in to these 
who, for many of you who are tuned in, these blindsiding situations are often quite humbling. For you know, sense, and see that you are often able to see and see through, to see and pierce the veil. And yet, it is inevitable that situations of mistrust will enter into your experience. The shift and invitation here is firstly to not try to avoid them, and secondly, not allowing them to build resistance or blocks to trusting yourself or another. Divine redirection can come in interesting and creative ways. And sometimes this is through deception and the clearing out of old energies, people, places, and situations that you had once perceived to be beneficial. You will come across false light and people who you believed could be trusted. Do not get discouraged if they break your trust or for putting your trust in them. For this has indeed served a divine reason. A facilitating of experiences, circumstances, situations, and interactions that would have otherwise not taken place. And so perhaps the act of you trusting a person or a situation was not for the person or situation, but rather where you knew it would lead and guide you on the other side, which is freedom, expansion, and greater depths of embodiment. This is where your trust was leading you. And so, for any time you feel your trust is broken, the invitation herein is not to close off or become jaded or guarded, but to surrender. To surrender to divine plan, divine intervention, and divine redirection. And now, trust deeper. For when this takes place, you are now open to greater capacity to see, witness, and know false light to see false light, and to, to discern and trust your divine path. Your divine path is always leading you and guiding you and taking you where your soul is intending you to go. It just may not look the way your mind had planned or intended. And this is the greatest adventure of this, <laughs> in this and in this, the greatest adventure is to cast out intentions, follow the divine path, and embracing the twists and turns that will inevitably show up along the way. Divine redirection is a beautiful thing if you trust and allow it to be. Know that you can trust yourself no matter what arises, no matter what mistrust you encounter, for you are always learning, you are always leading, and you are always guiding yourself to greater trust, expansion, and love on the other side. And this is a beautiful thing. So it shall be. And so it is.